you know, we made a video, uh, shoot, a couple months back uh, about the Dark Horse in the top four for next year. It was a way too early type of thing. And we talked about Oklahoma State. Uh, some people agree, some people don't, which is fine. Uh, I have a really weird feeling that Oklahoma State is just going to win the Big 12 and, and be a dark horse into the top four next year. Uh, as a TC fan, of course, I don't want that to happen. But look at the team. Look at the team. And I saw them live, and it's they're different. Uh, anyways, Mike Gundy and Oklahoma State agreed to a new five-year extension with annual automatic uh, rollout rollovers, I should say, on Tuesday. Now, at 49 years old, he's going to earn $4.2 million in 2017, an increase of 300000 and then an annual increase of 125000 after that. Uh, he's the longest tenured and winningest coach in Oklahoma State history with a record of 104 to 50, 63 and 39 in conference play uh, since 2005. Now, he's led his alma mater to 10 win seasons three of the past four years, and including last year, having a um, another con- they've had 11 consecutive bowl uh, appearances uh, under Gundy and now in his 13th season over there. Now, this is following after Gundy uh, told the Oklahoman in April that he wouldn't sign a new contract because he wanted to see a greater commitment from the school uh, in for the recruiting budget and salaries for assistant and supporting staff. Uh, apparently, now they got it. Uh, and it's, it's pretty cool to see now with Gundy. He is uh, the nation's fifth tenured longest coach there. Uh, he trails only Kansas State's Bill Snyder. He's been there for God knows how long. Uh, Gary Patterson at TCU, Kirk Ferentz at Iowa, and, of course, Nick Saban at Alabama. Now, with p- potential uncertainty at OU and a really big year from Oklahoma State, they can flip things very quickly and be and just take over the state of Oklahoma uh, in terms of recruiting and, of course, uh, over on football. Uh, with a big year in 2017, Mason Rudolph is going to be probably one of the best, if not the best, quarterback in the Big 12. I know people are going to throw up Baker Mayfield, uh, but depending on the offensive system they run, Mason might throw up a little bit more numbers. And you also have Jason Washington, who might win the Belitnikoff Belitnik- Award excuse me, uh, for the best, best wide receiver. That guy is fast. He is the definition of fast in college football right now. Uh, Oklahoma State, again, their defense is top notch. I'm just throwing it out there. They might flip the state. Lincoln Riley, of course, he's he's not a new guy, but new at head coach. Depending on what they can do at Oklahoma, how it flips with recruiting, Oklahoma State might be the one to watch out for in the Big 12. (laughs) 